in and hold on, Alex Hayden. It's about to get crazy here at Talladega. It is indeed. Chevrolet and Ford on the front row. Austin Dillon from Richard Childress Racing in his Chevy Camaro. He grabbed the pole position. Eric Almarola with his Ford Mustang from Stuart Haas Racing. That Ford Edge pace vehicle is already on pit lane. Here they come at pace car speed, waiting for the green flag to go in the air, and it does now. Green flag is out, and the Geico 500 is underway. From the inside lane, Austin Dillon tries to get their fender out in front. And he does exactly that by about a fender, but coming back in that outside lane, here comes Eric Almarola. He's got a trunk full of Brad Keselowski. Brad gives him a big shove in that outside lane. Almarola to the lead off turn two. And the push and the shove it already begins. Now they disconnect. Almarola gets punched into the clean air, and now the battle's on for second. Austin Dillon by himself down low. Hang on. Here comes help. Daniel Hemrick on the inside line is on the move. Here's Hemrick now. Tries to rally up along the inside lane of the racetrack. He's got Kyle Larson in tow. Alex Bowman, Chase Elliott, all working the inside lane as they come rocketing off turn four. And now the Thunder now working back through the tri-oval. Here they come, all 40 in a great big pack to complete lap number one. The question is, who's going to lead it? The answer, Brad Keselowski. He's got his teammate right behind Joey Logano working down to the inside. That's Eric Almarola. Almarola's got a bit of a shove from Cl uh, Clint Boyer. He'll use that to surge to the inside on Logano. Almarola down low. Logano up high. That's the wheel-to-wheel -wheel battle for position number two. And three wide land has already broken out for about the 15th pos position. That is Daniel Suarez leading that extreme outside lane. Stenhouse, though, up the racetrack and will throw the block on him in three. At the front of the field, here comes Joey Logano in the outside lane of the racetrack. Brad Keselowski down low, has the lead by a car length. Here's Eric Almarola shifting lanes down low to hook up behind Keselowski. It's going to leave Team Penske drivers going at the front of the field. Inside lane is where Brad Keselowski is. Outside lane, that's the Money Lion Ford Mustang. Joey Logano, lap number two goes on the board. Brad Keselowski by a fender leads the way. And they are two by two back through about the first eight or nine positions. That's where the three wide lane begins to operate. Martin Truex Jr. top side in that draft. Challenge for the lead, he's on again. Here they come off turn number two, Joey Logano, that money lion forward to the outside of Brad Keselowski's Ford Mustang. Team Penske at the point, behind Logano, drafting help from Blaney, behind Keselowski, drafting help from Almarola. And here comes Michael McDowell, he's in the sixth position. He will now work toward the outside lane of the racetrack as well. Thought about a move up higher, nothing doing there because here comes Martin Truex Jr. And they are three wide, five rows deep. Up front, they're two by two though, and their teammates, Keselowski, down to the the inside, Logano flanking him to his right. Behind him, you've got Eric Elmarola, Clint Boyer, Austin Dillon. That thunder now works back to turn number one. Three wide lane has made its way up to about the sixth or seventh position. Front of the pack, it continues to be Brad Keselowski. He runs in single file formation with Al Almarola on his back bumper followed by Clint Boyer. The inside line is advancing, as Dave mentioned. Keselowski, Almarola, Boyer, and Dillon outside line led by Joey Logano, and they've got a full head of steam. And here comes Ryan Blaney right behind Logano. Now Martin Truex Jr. pops out of line. He will go all the way to the top of the banking. Back in the seventh position. Here's Truex moving forward to the high side. Joey Logano sees that big head of steam on the outside lane. He'll make a quick move to driver's right and block that advance. Keep in mind, Martin Truex Jr., one of the drivers, had to start at the back of the field. He's already made his way towards the front after four laps, Dave. MTJ thundering his way toward the top of the heap. Logano blocked his run for the moment. He'll fall back in line into the second spot. Now slides up again in front of Martin Truex Jr. Ryan Blaney fills the gap in the middle. And that inside line is rolling. The middle lane, though, is percolating right now. Blaney leads it. William Byron right behind him. Matt Tipp and Bubba Wallace in the middle as well. Here comes Logano again to the high side. He squares up right in front of the front bumper of Martin Truex Jr. That'll leave Ryan Blaney at the head of the line in the middle lane, but Keselowski leads down low. So if there were any questions to be answered about can passing be had here today, oh yeah, Martin Truex Jr., Ricky Stenhouse Jr. coming through uh, up from the very back of this, making their way to the front. This is unbelievable racing so far. And they found lane number three to their liking to get there. Right now we watch Truex climb the banking over in at turn number one and two. He's got some company there as they draft off turn number two and down the back straightaway right now at the front of the field. It is a handful of Fords. Brad Kozlowski, Eric Almarola, Clint Boyer, and Joe Ilegano. That's your top four. The pole sitter, Austin Dillon, right now rides in the fifth position.
Want to get closer to the NASCAR action and learn more about your favorite drivers, teams, and NASCAR history? The next time you're at the track, check out the ISM Connect digital screens and jumbotrons for exclusive content and to learn more about upcoming events and giveaways. ISM partners with over 100 venues across the country, reaching an audience of nearly 110 million. Learn more at ismconnect.com or follow on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram using the handle at RaceFanCentral. Hey there, it's Hall of Fame driver Rusty Wallace for Blue Emu. After spending nearly a quarter of a century in a race car, I know what it means to be banged up and bruised up. As Wallace spins, Wallace That's why I reach for Blue Emu products to support my muscles and joints. Blue Emu is known for quality and innovation. And Blue Emu is one of the few muscle and joint brands that is 100% owned, distributed, and manufactured in the USA. For Hall of Fame relief, reach for Blue Emu. Works fast and you won't stink. Right now, the top two running nose to tail, but behind them, they are two and three wide as they come back across the start finish line. Make it the only car running single file or by himself as the leader. That's Kozlowski, then side by side, Eric Elmarola and Joey Logano right behind them. Clint Boyer and Austin Dillon so far. Great race, only seven laps in. Don't go anywhere. We'll get you back on the racetrack when we come back. From Talladega Super Speedway, this is the Motor Racing Network, the voice of NASCAR. NASCAR Coast to Coast on MRN.com and Motor Racing Network's Facebook. Join me, Kyle Rickey, and Hannah Newhouse as we talk with the next generation of NASCAR stars and established local and regional racers each Wednesday at 1 Eastern time. Or subscribe, download, and listen on your favorite podcast provider. NASCAR Coast to Coast. Grassroots NASCAR racing from the Motor Racing Network. Veteran drivers and rookie drivers. NASCAR Today Midday keeps you up to date with all your favorites each weekday. It's a dream come true. A lot of you know the path that I've gone down. There's a lot of opportunity with, with the package changes, you know, with the Chevrolet and the work they're putting in. And I know one thing's for sure, it's good to have my name on top of the cup car. Don't miss any of the breaking NASCAR news with NASCAR Today Midday. Only on the Motor Racing Network, the voice of NASCAR. Last time by, the field was separated by two and a half seconds. They are all running right together, but the one thing that we do notice at the front of the field, it's all Team Penske. It is indeed. This lap, number nine, being led by Ryan Blaney. Joey Logano second, Brad Keselowski third. Bubba Wallace has now jumped into the top five to fourth, and Eric Almirola fifth. Dale, with so many unknowns coming into this race, we've run nine laps now, well, nine and a half laps, about what you may have expected to see. Uh, even more than I expected to see, especially at the beginning of this race. I thought it may take these drivers, they may take a little more time to see exactly what was going to happen with these big runs they're getting. But we're seeing the top ten and even the top five change at a very rapid rate. And I think that only tells us that the end of this race is going to be some kind of exciting. We are seeing a handful of drivers kind of pull out of the pack and uh, lead them, lagging behind. Up front, though, uh, it is all Joey Logano. Then Trump's turn through. Bubba Wallace gets spun. He goes up into the outside retaining wall, collects a couple of cars. Clint Boyer takes a spin. Kevin Harvick is into the outside wall. More cars ducking and dodging. Denny Hamlin torn up on the right front corner as well. A multi-car incident on entry between turns one and two. The Money Lion caution is out, sponsored by Money Lion for a big crash over in turns one and two, Dave. Michael McDowell has pancaked the side of the Love's Travel Shops machine. Kevin Harvick with severe damage on his car. Clint Boyer all torn up on the right-hand side as he comes motoring by. It all happened, it appeared, when Bubba Wallace got hooked in the right rear corner, turned directly up the racetrack, and it was on from there. Tough, tough break for... Bubba Wallace, Ryan Blaney, Dale, you've had an opportunity to really break this one down. Yeah, they were racing for the second spot there, and there was a little contact between Bubba Wallace and Ryan Blaney, and, and then Bubba just couldn't uh, collect his car back up once that started. It looked like Blaney was going to spin in front of the, the whole group. He got his car headed in the right direction, but Bubba couldn't save his and then did uh, get collected in the right rear. Uh, Denny Hamlin, a lot of damage there. A lot of drivers that we thought might be a factor in this now uh, are going to have a tough day ahead of them. Lap number 10, the Money Lion caution is out, showing as the race leader is Joey Logano. I can't believe it. 
That Philip brought his little brother on our mission into orbit? How long until we get there? How long until we get there? How long until we get there? No, I can't believe how easy it was to save hundreds of dollars on my car insurance with Geico. What's this button do? What's this button do? What's this button do? What's this button do? No, 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 don't touch that! Believe it, Geico could save you 15% or more on car insurance. As soon as we're back out in our yard, yep, we get company. Dandelions, lurking crabgrass, and wheat thin grass. But Scout's Turf Builder Triple Action takes care of them all. Now, with one bag, you can kill weeds, prevent crabgrass for up to four months, and feed for greener grass. Triple Action, so your lawn thrives, guaranteed. Only from Scott's. Weeds aren't welcome here. This is a Scott's Yard. Pick up a bag of Scott's Triple Action today. The caution is out, sponsored by Money, Money Lion, the world's most powerful financial membership. Money Lion, here we roar. And Winston, there are some cars on the pit lane here on lap number 11 that absolutely did not want to be on pit lane here on yeah, lap Yeah, one 11. of those uh, Daytona 500 winner, Denny Hamlin on pit road. Looks like somebody just uh, took the can opener right to the front part of the car, right in front of where this uh, Goodyear Eagle is. Also damage to Clint Boyer's car further down pit road. We're going to head that way and see how much the damage is on Ryan Newman. He pulls away. He's got a bash in behind the left front tire. He's going to be good to go. But a lot of damage to the right front of Denny Hamlin's FedEx Toyota. So he's going to be able to continue. But that aerodynamic uh, is going to be down awfully significantly on that right front. Difficult, uh, difficult maneuvering going on on the racetrack. Just a bit of a bump draft gone wrong, as NASCAR Hall of Famer Dale Jarrett described. We're 11 laps in to the Geico 500. Joey Logano, Ryan Blaney, now Eric Jones, Daniel Suarez, and Brad Keselowski being shown as the top five. 